This video is on fuel consumption. We are going to do example one, which actually has two parts. Question A and B is on the next slide. You'll notice that we have a formula here. I'm going to show you the formula, and then I'm also going to show you how to do this using the four boxes technique. All right, let's read question A. A car consumed 47.04 litres of fuel after travelling 560 kilometres. What was its fuel consumption for this journey? So we'll just plug this into the formula. So it says that our fuel consumption can be found by taking the amount of fuel consumed, which in this case is 47.04 litres, multiplying this by 100, so times 100, and then putting it over the distance travelled. So we travelled 560 kilometres. Bringing our calculator up now, we are going to go 47.04 times 100 divide 560 equals, and we get 8.4. So we're going to write 8.4 litres per 100 kilometres. And what this means is that every time you travel 100 kilometers, your car is going to burn 8.4 liters of petrol. Whenever we calculate fuel consumption, we always like to know how many liters of fuel that we are using per 100 kilometers. Anyway, now what we'll do is we'll solve this using the four boxes technique. Now I'm going to put my kilometers on the right hand side and I'm going to put my liters on the left hand side. The reason I'm doing that is my final solution had liters on the left and kilometers on the right so I'd like to keep it that way. Now the liters used was 47.04, we'll write that here, 47.04 and the amount of kilometers traveled is 560. What you're trying to do is you're trying to turn your kilometers into 100 like it is in the solution. How would we do that? Well, we can actually do that just by dividing by 5.6. You can try it now if you don't believe me. 560 divide 5.6 will give you 100. That means that if I do the same thing on the left-hand side, divide by 5.6, I should get 8.4 liters. Let's try that out now. 47.04 divide 5.6 equals 8.4 litres, which is what we wanted. And then from this, we can see that we use 8.4 litres per 100 kilometres. Now we will move on to question B, which says that my car has a fuel consumption of 7.6 litres per 100 kilometres, which is your fuel consumption. How much fuel will I use after traveling 840 kilometers, which is the distance you are traveling? So what you're actually trying to find here is the amount of fuel consumed. What is this? All right, so we're going to plug this into the formula. So our fuel consumption 7.6 is going to go to the left of the equal sign. We don't know what the amount of fuel consumed is, so we'll put um, the letter X there for now. We're going to put a pronumeral in there, and then it says to times this by 100, and then put the distance travelled below it. So the distance travelled is 840 kilometres. So we're going to have to do some rearranging here. First, we'll multiply both sides by the same number. We'll multiply both sides by 840. This will cancel the 840 below, bringing up my calculator, 7.6 times 840 equals uh, 6,384. So 6,384 equals, and we still have X times 100 here. So we'll write X times 100. You could also write that as 100X. Once again, we need to do the same thing to both sides. We're going to divide both sides by 100. The reason for this is it will cancel out the 100 here. 6,384 divided 100 is just 63.84. 
So that's what x equals. Therefore, our car must have consumed 63.84 litres of fuel. All right, so let's now do this using the four boxes technique. And we're going to put on one side the litres used and on the other side the kilometres travelled. So using the fuel consumption, which was 7.6 litres per 100 kilometres, we'll put that down there. And we want to see how much fuel we use after travelling 840 kilometres. So we'll put that in the kilometres column. So what would we do to get from 100 to 840? Well, that's quite simple. We would just multiply by 8.4. 100 times 8.4 is 840. So what's 7.6 litres times 8.4? Let's do that on the calculator. 7.6 times 8.4 equals, and we get our 63.84. So this is another option for calculating the fuel consumption. Notice that we didn't have to do any of that rearranging of formulas, which some people really struggle with. So you might prefer the four boxes method. Anyway, that concludes example one. Remember to read the description below for links to theory booklets that relate to this video.